Dwayne here, phoenixtypewriter.com. Got another IBM Selectric here today that the backspace is not quite strong enough to make its backspace motion. So, well, it's, it's working there, but if you hold it, any kind of resistance on this, with your finger here, it, it doesn't move. It should be able to force its way past. That's just the slightest resistance. A lot of times that is the pulley over here is the culprit. But this pulley is good. And it's in about a proper adjustment, so it's got tension. That's good. So my next thing I want to look at on this one, this is a rotary backspace machine. So it's got a ratchet, rotary ratchet back here. Way down in here. Again, this is going to be difficult to see, but let me get a light. light. Okay, so there's our rotary driver right there, backspace driver. Sometimes those go bad. They strip out. Very rare. I've got a hundred of them. They don't usually strip out. They're hardened steel, but that piece moves and it drives the ratchet right back here. You can't see it. It's behind there. Flush that, make sure that's that's um, all flushed and working, not sticking. Then we need to focus on another part of this back here. And this machine has got an adjustment that needs to be made. So here's the uh, backspace adjustment right there, these two nuts. And it goes down that little shaft. And it's just going to be impossible to see on camera, but there's a this piece right here interplays with this piece right here that moves. You'll see it move when I hit the backspace here. Watch this. That rocks. Well, that piece is not it's not close enough to uh, boy, it's just impossible to see on camera. It's impossible to see off camera. Okay, there it is, right? Right there. Let me see if I can get my tool in here. Right at the bottom of that. Right there is not close enough to the bottom of this piece. Let me turn the machine off here. And then I'm going to hit the back so it's not, this piece is going to move. So here it goes. Right there. That's going to move. That little gap that's between those two pieces has to be taken up by these two nuts right here. So that's what I'm going to do is bring that up. Of course, it can't go too far or it will, uh, it will not engage. But that's a pretty easy adjustment here. Let me find some wrenches that will work. That wrench, let's see. I think I got two wrenches. Okay, so you just got to hold the one nut. I'm going to get a better wrench. I don't like that wrench. It's too skinny. We have a manly wrench here. Alright. Okay. So let's put this. They're both quarter inch right there. That's quarter inch. And that's quarter inch. So we loosen these two nuts. Right like that. And I'm going to take the bottom nut and we're going to turn it, I guess, clockwise here. I'm going to turn it that direction, right there. That direction. I'm going to go three, not three full turns, just three small turns. I'm going to look back in here and see how much that took up the gap there. That part. And, uh, it still looks like it could. I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn it on and power it. Turn it back off. Okay, it's still. It still can go a little bit. So I'm gonna turn that nut some more. This one will. Will raise it up. So let's see. I'm gonna go two more. Jesus Christ. And uh, tighten the stop nut up here. So let's go 
probably got to go about four turns too. Let's see. And then we're just going to try it. That was really way out of adjustment for a for some reason. I don't know why. Okay, if it's too tight, let's make sure that it still engages. It does. Okay. Let's turn it around and give this a little trial. A little bit of a see how much better it's working. Alright. Let's take a look here. Oh yeah. I'm applying a lot of pressure and it's still back facing. That is the cure for this one today. And I noticed this, of course, when I was going to do a correction, it didn't, uh, it didn't backspace to do that correction. It, it, uh, it didn't make the, it didn't make it. So, that's it. That's how you adjust a backspace on a rotary, rotary, uh, style backspace mechanism. I think maybe you can see that. That, that uh, ratchet a little better from this side. Of course, it's dark in here. So let's light some light up there so the paw moves against that ratchet right there. Sometimes, rarely, that paw's got to be replaced. It's got teeth on it to engage with those teeth down in there. But that's not the case. It was an adjustment in the typewriter itself. So, that's how you do a backspace adjustment on a rotary backspace style Selectric 2 or 3. I think all the Selectric 3's are rotary backspace, but some of the early Selectric 2's are use a different method. Alright, Phoenix typewriter. Good day.